Hi, everybody. Welcome back to another All About You episode, special edition on Love Life. Okay, we still have some episodes coming up before we we finalize um, this series. Uh, but today we're going to talk about how to bounce back after a breakup. Okay, how to recover, right? What do you do? First, we need to understand what breakup is about. And obviously, I will discuss the topic uh, a lot more with my guest here. But let's have a look at this video before we talk to our guest today. Stay with us. A breakup is painful, no matter how it comes about and whether you expected it or not. Initiating a breakup when the other person does not want to can bring about sadness, guilt and worry. Breaking up with your partner can develop feelings of hurt and rejection. Even if the breakup is mutual, it is natural to struggle with difficult feelings such as anger or depression. Research has shown that the regions of the brain which get activated in response to physical pain also get activated in response to a breakup. Therefore, whether it's a broken bone or a broken heart, many of the same underlying neurological structures are involved. This translates to the conscious experience of being in pain. Knowing the effects on the body and how difficult it can be to bounce back, what active steps are needed to recover from a breakup? Get your notebooks out and be ready to learn. Welcome back. Very interesting facts right there. As you can see, um, it's normal that you feel what you feel when you go through a breakup. But I want to discuss here with Bruna today. Thank you for coming. Thanks for inviting me again. Oh, it's a pleasure. <laughs> We're always together on Thursdays at our Love Life Seminar, the, the Love uh, Therapy. And tell me, Bruna, um, yeah. breakup seems mm. to be a very common thing these days. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I think people rush into relationships too much um, before they do their homework. Uh, I mean, you'd need to date so you get to know the person. But even before you get to that stage, because, so that you can protect yourself, yeah. then what are people doing wrong, uh, in your opinion? <laughs> yeah, many people, they just jump into a relationship without knowing what a relationship is. Mm -hmm. That's why many people fail in this case. And they uh, begin, they end up to breaking up. Yeah, they, I think they get involved emotionally too fast, too quickly, isn't mm -hmm. it? I don't know about you, but it's quite common and probably Especially you've heard about women. this. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you, you said it. I was going to say that, but I was thinking, should I say a disclaimer before I say what I want to say? But this is a program from women to women, okay? Mm -hmm. Let's just put it plainly. So we're talking to women here, and it's true. Women, they have this power supersonic power i don't know what you want to call it too they they saw the man they're already thinking about their wedding day <laughs> they haven't yet said hello that's true <laughs> you know you, you're very easy we are know, easy to, to, fail, to, to, to fall, fall in, in love. love with someone mm -hmm. you see yeah to love some someone something yeah. is not hard for us yeah but that's Indeed. dangerous because you you need to know yeah the person right mm -hmm. so how can people Stop doing that, in your opinion. Yeah. You... <laughs> hard. That was hard Just question. say it, Bruno, don't worry. People will understand. Yeah. Maybe you should think before you enter in a relationship. Maybe you, you need to know the person yeah. very well before you enter in a relationship. Because sometimes you just go into a relationship, but you don't know where you are going to. Mm -hmm. And uh, of course, you're going to find some things that you don't like. But however, for you to avoid this mistake, you need to know the person very well. You need to start a friendship because mm -hmm. if you're not... Friendship is very important mm -hmm. before you... I mean, I don't know about you, but I usually advise single women. Um, this is how they should go about it, okay? My, my personal opinion, of course, um, there are exceptions. But you like someone, you've noticed someone, get close to the person. See what they are up to, you know, which places do they go to. Um, if they, Right there, if they go to dodgy places um, to socialize, then that already says a lot about the person. So when you, when you get close to the person, 
in their natural environment. For mm-hmm. example, you've noticed a person, like I said, and you want to, let me see who this person really is and yeah. see how they interact with other people. Uh, is he flirtatious? Is he, um, uh, um, I don't know. I don't also want to sound well. offensive. <laughs> but, you know, is this person just um, a, a playboy? Is that mm-hmm. how they say? <laughs> they like to play mm-hmm. the ladies. Is he serious? Is he a man of his word? Does he show up on time? All these things are important. Even though you, you like what you see, yes. don't give your heart away before you do this because then it's a recipe for disaster. For sure, it isn't will be. it? Mm-hmm. So today we are here to share, okay, get ready, <laughs> write it down, tips on how to recover after a breakup. Okay, what should you do? Let's say that you've made some mistakes Nobody's perfect, right? This is why we have this these episodes on love life. Mm-hmm. Uh, we can only share what we know and things we've seen and things we've been through. So um, you've gone through one. Don't put yourself down. Um, but have a look. See what you can do different next time, okay? So first tip. First tip. Acknowledge what went wrong. Mm-hmm. Understand where the relationship went wrong mm-hmm. so that this does not happen again in the future okay acknowledge what you did wrong it may have been one incident or a series of mistakes from one or both sides that led to a breakup Mm -hmm. that's true so acknowledging (laughs) you know you you need to know where you failed Mm -hmm. right for you to change if you don't know how can you change something that you don't know exactly Mm -hmm. however bruna Many people, what is the tendency when you go through a breakup or a disagreement um, is blaming the other person. Mm -hmm. Maybe the other person, um, you know, cheated on you, was not uh, honest, was dishonest, uh, a liar, whatever. I I don't know. But the tendency is for people to say, well, I acknowledge that he did wrong. But... There are things that we can learn and take away from Mm -hmm. the problem, the incident. How about, you said acknowledge what went wrong. How Mm -hmm. about your selection process? Perhaps you failed there. You know, perhaps you've seen this coming, but deep down inside of you, you, you wished, no, things will get better. He will change. He will commit but maybe he doesn't want to commit, and you know that. But then you thought with your special feminine powers, you would change him. But we don't change people, you see. Mm-hmm. Only God can change people if they want to change. Yes. Even that, God respects people's free will, see. So that's a mistake right there. That's true. Second one, practice forgiveness. Yeah. Practice yes, forgiveness. Now, When you hear me say that, you may think, yes, sure, I know what you're going to say to me. I should forgive the person who wronged me. Yes, you should, because you are doing good to yourself when you do that, okay? Um, In any situations, uh, for that matter, not just within relationships. You gain peace from forgiving. Forgiving is a decision, a conscious decision that you do what you need to do so that you can have peace, okay? However, many people, Bruna, forget to forgive themselves, mm-hmm. okay? Uh, many people, they, they've acknowledged, mm-hmm. you know, the first point we, we went through, they acknowledge what the, where they went wrong and they beat themselves up over that over and over and over, and they don't move on. Yeah, they blame themselves because the mistake that they made in their mm-hmm. relationship, and then uh, this impede, this mistake impede the person to move forward, yeah. to, he- to heal themselves mm-hmm. and to go to another relationship. So for example, that. if they, so then uh, what you're saying as well, what we are saying is that if you find it hard to move on, it may be that you haven't forgiven yourself. So there is a, there is a, a fear there. What if this happens again? But perhaps people say as a, de- a defense mechanism, <laughs> oh, I'm not ready. Uh, there's nobody around for me yet. I don't know. I need time. But really, truly, there is a resentment towards oneself because 
how come I didn't see? It's like, for example, I don't know if you've been a victim of a scam. A scam, mm. have you been? Yeah. I, I... Oh my goodness, <laughs> let me tell you. You want to hate yourself yes. <laughs> after you, you fall for one of those things. Mm. But isn't that falling for a scam? In a way, you believe the person so much yeah. when in fact the person... Um, I mean, not everyone scams you. I don't mm -hmm. know if that word in English exists, but you choose to believe without seeing the facts, okay? Yes. Now, um, shall we go to the next one, please? And then we will perhaps have a look at the street interviews. Yes. Uh, uh, which the, one is the next one? The next one. Do not jump into a new relationship straight after breakup. You do not need a rebound relationship to get over your ex. You need to be certain that your previous wounds have healed before considering a new relationship. Mm -hmm. How can you put the another person to heal what is inside mm -hmm. of you? It's impossible. The, the other person cannot heal the wounds that the, the, your ex left inside of you. Mm -hmm. First, you need to be healed. Yeah. You yourself, you need to heal yourself for after that only you go to a into a new relationship yeah but often i don't know if you agree with me um people jump into a relationship too soon because um they want to get back at the other person yeah look at me i'm doing fine i'm happy i'm moving on but i think it's important that you really look inside of yourself and see am i really ready because the thing is, Bruna, if someone jumps into a relationship too soon, you're going to start, you're going to take with you those wounds and make the other person's life hell, mm -hmm. a living hell. Why? Let's say that you are betrayed, uh, you know, your former boyfriend or, or husband um, betrayed you. Or he exchanged you for another, another woman who is a lot younger, a lot whatever, a lot whatever. Um, deep down, what is that action telling you without even him saying the words, you are not enough, you are not as best, as better as the other one, blah, blah, blah. So if you don't deal with that insecurity that was left after that breakup, you will be very, you will be a very high maintenance partner. You will be suspicious of everything the other person will do. You will always mm -hmm. think the other person is looking at someone or... Uh, you know, whatever, because of your insecurity from your previous relationship. So this is just one of many examples. Yeah, you are putting the responsibility why. of your happiness on under the, the shoulder of the other person. Yeah, it's and not it's, fair. It's not fair. Yeah, mm -hmm. yeah. it's not fair with the person. It's true. It's true. Mm -hmm. You are actually, when you do that, you are scamming the other person. <laughs> it's true. She's in your in a relationship with you, believing that you've moved on. But truly, truly, you haven't. So in a way, you're not being very honest yourself. Can you see how it's easy for us to blame other people when many times we do the same thing with other people? So that's a thought for you to... Uh... So let's have a look at our last point before we go to the street interviews. I think we can just finalize. Mm -hmm. It says, invest in your inner healing. Now, I know we've mentioned this before, inner healing... Um, forgiving yourself this is so so important that if you don't do that it will affect every single area of your life how many people Bruna go into depression mm -hmm. and they can't even go to work they can't even you know they isolate themselves from even family because they are still dwelling in what happened and that's not fair you know I really 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 truly believe that it's not fair that you stay stuck in that mode, you know, in that sadness. Because whatever happened, happened. It's life. We don't have control, eh, Bruna, mm -hmm. over what people do, yeah, choose to true. do. If they want to choose to be uh, dishonest, what can you do? But that does not mean you're not good enough. Mm -hmm. It doesn't mean that you are... Um, not good enough. I think that's the perfect mm -hmm. word. That's true. Many, okay. As you said, many things we can control, but yeah. a lot of things is, no. is not under our control. We cannot, yeah. you know, manage everything mm. in life. So I think, Bruna, that inner healing comes from understanding. I'm not a psychologist, mm -hmm. but I believe 
And let me know if you if this makes sense to you. You can you are free to leave your comments and participate in this conversation. Tell me. You can only heal yourself when you understand what just happened. Hold on a second. This is why you shouldn't jump into another relationship like we've mentioned. Mm -hmm. You need to understand okay, what did just happen? So you acknowledge what went wrong, where you went wrong. Sure, the other person failed you big time, but you, you, look at yourself. Look after yourself now. When you understand what went wrong, then you find closure, you find healing, and you move on. And you look at, at, at that person who wronged you, you know, who was dishonest with you, and you have mercy. You, you can even find mercy when you dig deep, when you really look at the situation, when you are, you know, working on your inner healing, you look at the person and you think, that person needs help. Poor thing. How can I even be angry? They are so in need of help themselves. So how can you hold something against that person? You know what I mean? So you become, you empathize with people. I know this is very, um, a very deep level, if I don't know if it's the right way of saying it, but it, this is not everyone. This is for people who really go deep and really pay attention. And you know what? I don't accept to stay stuck in life because of something that someone did to me. So you look at the other person and you understand their side, they, their upbringing. Their values are non-existent. They date for fun, but you want something serious. So you see what I mean? There's always something to learn. So indeed, invest in your inner healing so that you can move on and be happy, okay? Let's have a look at the street interviews. Join us after that. So I've never gone through a breakup, um, but I guess I've kind of like had the feeling of like not getting somebody I wanted, if that makes sense. And I think I just spent a lot more time alone in a sense of just like reflecting on what had happened and what I could have done better and things like that. Um, and then also just taking into account how I could grow from that situation and things like that. I'm a Christian, so I very heavily depend on God. So I think a lot of prayer would also help. Um, spending time with him and seeing what he has in store for you, but also spending time with family and friends and just being reminded that you are loved in more ways than one. So spending time with those friends, whether that's going out again or like even just staying in, I think just surrounding yourself with the love that you know that you have. Yes, I broke up in the past. Uh, I don't know, just the time, watching around, take time for myself. Sometimes I'm going to travel or I'm going to the mountain, uh, walking in the, in, the sum, in the summer, I like to walking. Yes, I have gone through a breakup and what I did to recover from that was spending some time with myself you really need to like deep dive in yourself and like yeah get to know you and there's nothing wrong with spending time with yourself treat yourself a lot and don't try to like ignore it or repress it because it won't go away that way i have not been through an official breakup because there was no official relationship but i can say that i've had similar breakup esque experiences. A lot of crying, a lot of denial. Um, my lovely friends had to basically force it out of me. Um, and then as soon as I started talking about it with my girlfriends, probably took me a good few months and a lot of journaling. I like writing. It's like my best mode of like getting stuff out. People prefer other modes of like expression, but writing's definitely my thing. So I could write for days. So I think as soon as I sort of like got into the flow of that, I found that that really helped. So I did a lot of it. And I can say that I don't look back in anger now. I did at the time. And yeah, I'd say the journaling, the talking, and lots of Olivia Rodrigo helped me. Um, I don't know, like have a spa day or go to your favorite restaurant and have your favorite meal or watch a movie or whatever it represents for you. I have depression and anxiety, so like it got a little bit worse, but I talked to friends and family. I learned that 
at the end of the day, it doesn't matter because you're going to spend your whole life with you. So you have to learn how to be with you and love you. I don't know. It depends. For example, for me, it's to pass the time alone and uh, take the time for me. Maybe I'm going to vacation and go to holiday. Uh, sometimes you, need, you spoke with your friends or psychologists because uh, it seems to lose one, uh, one person in your life. Put yourself first. Work out what brings you joy. Work out what you love about yourself. Journal, listen to angry music, find something that you enjoy. Is it yoga? Is it baking? Is it like start a new hobby, cut your hair, anything. As much as you want to, don't sit in your room under the covers. And don't be in denial. Let it like feel your feelings because it's going to take so much longer if you block it all up, which is the easiest thing to do. But don't do that. Feel them. And then once you've blasted through them, it's so much better on the other side. Just spending time with yourself. Because I think when you are with somebody, you get used to having that attachment and always having that person. So you have to kind of recalibrate and kind of go back to something that you aren't so used to anymore, I guess. So I think spending time with yourself and understanding what it is that you want again, understanding how you can learn from that experience and kind of healing from it, because I think most breakups are somewhat painful. So healing from that and kind of growing from it and seeing how you want to move forward, I think is key. Welcome back from the streets interview. And so, as you saw, it's important to have your time, this time alone. However, you need to deal with the things inside of yourself. Mm -hmm. Because what the matter if you spend the time alone, but you, if you didn't heal, mm -hmm. if it's not healing the wounds that someone left there. Mm -hmm. Right? Uh, one of the people mentioned writing on your journal plenty and listening to music. Yes, this is all very good. However, writing on a journal does not always heal the wounds. Mm -hmm. Okay? I'm not here, I'm, I'm not trying to criticize the methods that people um, use to find inner peace. But I find that these days it's very superficial, and Bruna is listening to music, is going to a feel-good show, is going to uh, with the girls somewhere, treat yourself. This is all very good, but remember, like you said, go deep. Mm -hmm. Go deep and make sure that you learn from that experience, that you come out of it stronger, wiser. All right? Wiser. In other words, don't get into a relationship before you know who the person is as much as you can, okay? I know that sometimes you can't avoid um, being uh, deceived because mm -hmm. some people are very good liars. However, at least you don't give too much too soon, too quick to the person. You, 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 hold, you hold the horses, like they say. Hold the horses. You're not married. So hold the horses, date slowly, get to know the person slowly, okay? Now, there's a Bible verse, actually, too, we want to read before we, we leave. Would you like, please, to read? Yes, let's read this Bible verse that is very special. Mm -hmm. He heals the brokenhearted and binds up their wounds. Psalms 147, verse 3. You see, the Word of mm -hmm. God is amazing. Yeah. Look at that. There's a verse for you, for you who are hurting. He heals the brokenhearted mm -hmm. and binds up their wounds. Look, look how much <laughs> love God has for you, okay? And he understands. Even if it was a neglect from your part, you should have checked things better. It doesn't matter. He's there. He's like a father. Come here. Let me hug you. Let me comfort you. Let me heal you. This is God. There's another verse. Look what the Bible says as well in Psalms 55, verse 22. It says, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. So again, um, obviously we're talking to anyone who is watching us today, mm -hmm. Christians, non-Christians, but try it. Come to the Love Life Seminars. Come to a service. Come and attend one of the services. As you know, we open every single day from early morning. We have four services a day to cater for your, for your, you know, for you to, depending on your schedule, you can come maybe early morning or mid morning or afternoon or evening. You can come and cast your burdens on the Lord and He shall sustain you. 
So you come in, perhaps it's your first time, you've never been to our church before. Come and try it. Come and listen to the Word of God and find inner peace, okay, through the Word of God. So also, Bruna, there's, there is a WhatsApp line that people can get in touch and also helpline. Yes, we have our... Um, so many ways, yeah. isn't it? People can get in touch. Yes, we have our helpline and we have also our WhatsApp, uh, WhatsApp number yeah. that you, you can get in touch with us yeah. because maybe you are thinking, okay, but uh, I'm going there and uh, what, what will happen there? Mm -hmm. I'm going to learn. You are not going only to learn, but we are going to use your faith as well because mm -hmm. sometimes many situations we are only come out using our faith yes and right. using our faith what we mean by that is you come to the church you listen to the word of god that the man of god is is preaching that day it will revive you it mm -hmm. will bring hope to you mm -hmm. therefore it will prompt you into taking an action which we call to do something by faith yeah. you know you don't see the end of your pain, of your hurt. But because you, you receive that word of encouragement, you feel as new and you ready strength. to take on the world. Mm -hmm. And you receive you know, strength for you to forgive. Exactly. Mm -hmm. And move on. Mm -hmm. That's exactly true. Yes. Yeah. So, Bruna, thank you so much for coming yeah, by. We have the book here. Oh, yes, it's true. I was <laughs> going to forget. So, we, what, is, what is the book? of today yeah we have the bulletproof dating okay that we will avoid your heart to be broke <laughs> okay so you learn a lot of lessons <laughs> yes on how to protect yourself mm -hmm. so the book is available online you, you can google yeah. it mm -hmm. um absolutely we have our bookshop in here yeah in Finsbury park and also in, in, in most of our branches we have bookshops mm -hmm. as well as online and also on amazon i think you can find a kindle version i mean there's no excuses Get your, get your hands on one of these, okay? <laughs> anyway, Bruna, thank you once again for coming, for thank joining you. us. Oh, and uh, we'll see you all next time. Remember to leave your comments, your questions, suggestions, and to get in touch, okay? We are here for you. God bless you. See you next time. Bye-bye. Are you in need of a faith incentive or daily words of motivation for your life? Liberty Radio is here to support and help you every day. The radio provides a variety of relevant programs to your liking that will strengthen and help you increasingly to get the best out of your life. Download the Liberty Radio app now from your phone app store. Connect to us and start to thrive in your life. Liberty Radio, the radio that sets you free.